Welcome to this Ikogawa e-learning module. This module covers the digital year flow basic working principle. When you have completed this module, you should understand the following. Carmen Street. Vortex shutting. Carmen vortex frequency. Strule number. Structure. Sensor. Relationship of flow, force and output. K factor. Summary. Now let's move on to the first topic. What is a Kármán strain? As fluid flows past an object in the flow, alternating Kármán vortices are shed on the downstream side. Let's look at the working principle, starting with the vortex shedding phenomenon. A vortex meter comprises a meter body with a shutter bar in the flow stream. Carmen vortices are generated at the edge of shutter bar when fluid passes across it. The Carmen vortex generates a lift force on the shutter bar. The vortex flow meter measures the flow rate by counting these vortices. This section explains the Carmen vortex frequency. The Carmen vortex frequency is proportional to the flow velocity. Therefore, it is possible to obtain the flow rate by measuring the Kármán vortex frequency. F equals st times v by d is the mathematical equation, where F means Kármán vortex frequency, st means trule number, v means flow velocity, and d means shutter bar width. What is this trule number? This trule number, st, is a dimensionless number which is a function of the shape and size of the vortex shutter. This trule number is the ratio between the vortex interval, i, and the shutter bar width, d. Usually the vortex interval is about 6 times the shutter bar width. When this trule number is fixed, the flow velocity can be measured by counting the number of vortices. And by selecting an appropriate shape of the shutter bar, the strule number can be kept constant over a wide range of Reynolds numbers. This graph shows the relationship between the Reynolds number and the strule number. Under a turbulent flow, when the Reynolds number is greater than 20,000, the strule number is constant. Therefore, vortex frequency is proportional to the flow velocity. But under transitional flow, when the Reynolds number is between 5000 and 20,000, the strule number increases. Therefore, vortex frequency is not proportional to the flow velocity. Let's look at the structure of the vortex meter next. This cross-sectional view of the vortex meter shows its structure. A vortex flow meter generally consists of a meter body, a shutter bar with a sensor, and converter electronics. Let's look at the sensor. Yokogawa uses a piezoelectric sensor to measure the vortex frequency. Two piezoelectric sensors are embedded in the shutter bar and isolated from the process fluid. This construction and unique signal processing technology ensure stable measurement across a wide flow range. Let's examine the relationship of flow, force and output. Flow hits the shutter bar and separates, and due to the shape of the bar, forms vortices. The vortices create an alternating pressure differential across the bar. The shutter bar is physically stressed toward the low pressure side. A piezoelectric crystal converts these mechanical stresses to electrical pulses. The sensors are hermetically sealed and not in contact with the process. Fluid flows into the meter body and hits the shutter bar. Carmen vortices are generated at the edge of the shutter bar. Carmen vortex generates a lift force in the shutter bar. 
the stresses on the shutter bar are sensed by the piezoelectric sensors which generate an output signal. The signals from the piezo sensors are further processed by the amplifier. These signals are continuously generated by the alternating lift forces due to the Kármán street effect. What is the K-factor? The K-factor of the vortex flow meter is the number of pulses generated per unit volume. For example, let us consider one liter of fluid flowing into the vortex flow meter. Three vortices and three pulses are generated when one liter fluid flows through the meter. The K-factor is calculated as shown. One liter. Three pulses. The K-factor is three pulses per liter. The K-factor represents the flow characteristics of the flow meter. It is determined during factory calibration and also set in the parameters. It is also indicated on the instrument nameplate. Let us now summarize what we have learned in this module. Summary The vortex flow meter counts Kármán vortices. The Kármán vortex frequency is proportional to flow velocity. Kármán vortex frequency, F, equals, the Struhl number, ST, times, flow velocity, V, over shutter bar width, D. The Struhl number, ST, equals shutter bar width, D, over vortex interval, I. K factor equals number of pulses by unit volume. This concludes our module on the basic working principle for digital airflow vortex flow meters. For more information or to contact us, please visit our website and official channel on YouTube. Thank you.